One. Hi, Maya TV. Today it's me, Lin Tang, be the host. I am a today Sunshine Woman, Sunshine Girl Talent Competition. Here we met one of our great, great sponsors and who is the Everything Related Rice. Let's welcome Mr. Ross Koda. Ross, nice to meet you and tell me about, you know, I see you have the wines or, and it's really rice. You know, I am Chinese, I love rice. So whenever the rice comes, you know, my eyes open. So tell us about a little bit about your, I think the family uh, history about rice and how you make from the rice and make the wine. Yeah. yeah. So uh, my grandfather came to the USA from uh, Fukushima, Japan in, in 1910. And he started our farm in 1928. And so uh, for the last 96 years, we've grown rice in California in the Central Valley. Uh, but in the 1950s, when my father and his brother were running the farm, they um, had a plan for you to develop a new variety of rice for them. And so this is a rice that we package as Coca-Cola Rose. See, it's it's very nice. It's a, he's an American hero too. You know, he's a Japanese, but he's an American hero. Mm -hmm. And so, um, <clears throat> uh, it's a it's it's a well known rice in the USA, but it, it's mainly for um, steaming and eating with your meals. But I wanted to try and do something different with it. So, um, you know, out of all the food products that are made out of rice. Uh, I decided I wanted to see what kind of sake could be made from it. And so we collaborated with a brewery in Fukushima, near where my grandfather came from. So that was really important, kind of uh, a link back to where my family came from. And the brewery is uh, 300 years old, it has 19 generations. So they have a ton of experience and they're located in a place where uh, they have really pure water and he was able to uh, develop these three organic Jumai Daiginjos for me, which are called uh, Uka Sake. Uka is the Japanese word for emergence, so like the butterfly emerging from the chrysalis, which is also uh, similar to what we're trying to do with rice, taking something that's very basic rice and transform it into something that's very elegant. I'm sorry, there is a so there's a three kind of rice. Rice. One is the uh, black label. And the black label is intended, these, these are the, these are the white rice. One. So this would be called the 100% brown rice. And this would be the 90% white rice, which is what we eat when we steam the rice. Oh, For okay. the uh, sake, it gets milled down to 40%. Oh, okay. Because the, the yeah. idea is that you see the the, the what the one who used to make a, a, the wine the uh, the sake one uh, is a difference than the one we're eating daily, and um, you know that's much more healthier one for you know for eating. But this one's best for the for making the wine. Yes, because it's milling it down mm -hmm. to get to the center of the kernel to get where the starch is more concentrated and. I did, uh, the best uh, rice for sake doesn't have protein in it because the protein can add off. So the uh, cocoa rose is a is not a traditional sake rice variety, but because that's our family's identity is so tied to it, I wanted to try and make sake with it. And so we were lucky that the uh, the brewery, Nikki Brewery, with whom we collaborate, was able to develop these three sake. So initially. Uh, I will ask him to make a very traditional uh, Japanese Jumai Daiginjo that you would typically experience in a restaurant in Japan. So super smooth, slightly sweet, and a little bit floral. So that is the uh, black label. Oh, okay. So the black label, has, has, and each label has a different kind of flavors. Yeah, it's, it's different than the regular, you know, wine, I mean, regular uh, grape fry. Those are rice wines. Mm -hmm. It's much mayoner, I guess. This is like white. Yes. But then, well, the, um, well, I'll get the, the dry. Mm -hmm. It was meant to be some sort of a counterpoint to the black label. So it's a cleaner, 
uh, brighter, um, very, uh, not as floral, mm -hmm. less sweet. Mm -hmm. So it, it's meant to be kind of a counterpoint to the black label in case someone is more accustomed to drinking wine in the USA. And then the sparkling is a um, naturally uh, effervescent sake and the fermentation is done in the bottle so the co2 mm -hmm. from the fermentation is, stays in the bottle oh, okay and then when you open it then you have that oh okay see these are the fermentations in the bottle it's not like morning like you know, other ones to right. put big barrel but it's in the bottle mm -hmm. it's not it's not like uh, uh soda pop where they inject the co2 into it mm -hmm. this is the CO2 comes naturally from the yeast breaking down the starches into sugar. Okay. Or breaking the sugar down into alcohol. <laughs> yeah, so far, so it's like, a, um, you know, I this is my first time to see the wine, but I, I like the design, I like it because the color, I like it. It's like, you know, you know to try on. So it is good product. I know because they, you know, based on the family history that they have, and they have good reputation. You know, the Japanese culture, their reputation, you know, name, or, you know, that's what kind of money. They want us to have, you know, family traditions. So I just buy the history of it. I know it's good quality. Anyone, you guys, you know, check out the label. I think if you Google it, you'll find their information for sure, yeah. So, uh, and uh, for the, yeah, it's uh, uh, so I can how you know when you do this processing mm -hmm. for the uh, wine and you're in the US and I mean there's a restaurant mostly for Asian people uh, why you really want to do this it's like a much narrow your know, market than the grip one you, know, you can buy buy like winery and do grip one is very popular but this one is like mostly for Asian people uh, you know, why you want to you know for the business point why you want to do that okay, okay. Well, it's part of the family story. So, um, my grandfather, one of, the, one of the things that was always important to him was uh, fostering relations between the U.S. and Japan. And so, this is uh, making um, the, the sake from the rice from his farm and brewing it into sake in Japan uh, kind of ties the two countries together. And so, okay. that was important. Yeah, that's nice. They have they have kind of a thing is the relationship friendship between Japan and the USA, which is really nice of a meaning for you know for a wine for any interesting drink. It have meaning on there. It makes sense. Yeah, we every time we drink this is kind of celebration. So we have some kind of random like you know, like the little kind of thing thing in there. It's more interesting. I, I like that idea. So yeah, you kind of you know you can wine with friends, family, celebration night, celebration anything. And you're thinking about, oh yeah, this is American and Japan and together product. Yeah. So that we, we drink together. Yes. That's, that's awesome. That's, a, that's very awesome. Hey, filmmakers, this is a good topic to make in a movie. In a movie. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, t uh, yeah, tell us, you know, how my reviewer, my followers, can find you know where they can find your wine and then you can kind of tell us like your social media handles and your websites like that okay tell the people well our website is ukasake.us so u-k-a-s-a-k-e.us and you can find all of the information about the sakes and uh, the story about the sake and to find where to buy it uh, the best thing is to check our Instagram account, Ukasake, mm -hmm. and at the top of the uh, uh, page, you'll see a link of where to buy. So if you click on that, it'll take you to a map, and you can click on Southern California or Northern California or whatever state you live in, mm -hmm. and find out what places have it. So basically, this this one is being right now distributed in um, every state of the United States. Everywhere uh, or particularly uh, limited states right now. Yes. Uh, like still, a which state? Still, still, still young country. Uh, but still that's okay. Young country. I know, but the which, which, uh, which state are you right yes, now? Yes, it's uh, easiest to find in South Northern Southern uh, California. Okay, California. Okay, this one right now you're only able to get in, in Northern California, Southern California, Las Vegas. and Las Vegas, New York, New, York. Uh, New Jersey, New Jersey, Texas. Texas. Yeah, you guys, hey, check out this wine. And if, if those one who are not in this area, go out and I believe 
so they can order online. Yes. And, uh, and I think, you know, whenever you drink this wine, you think about it's a friendship wine. It's a very good meaning for parties, for, for, part, for any celebrations. And also, for, you know, because the, the sake, the rice wine, has different kind of, um, much mellower, a much different kind of style of the wine. You guys should, should, try, you know, should try for it. Yeah, I think also filmmakers, this story, I, you know, I'm a filmmaker, I like the story. When I heard the story about, you know, how a grandfather has a herald in an American, and then grandson started doing all this development. It's another good story to be mingled into your story, okay? Uh, so follow us, and uh, yeah, check out, it's, uh, okay, cheers.